Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, I've got another Two Minute Tuesday slash Tuesday tip for you guys in collaboration with the AutoCAD blog. You can check out the link to the main article in the description below. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a dynamic north arrow for your site plans or drawings that will rotate automatically as you shift or rotate your viewport. Let's get started. All right, so to begin with, I need to preface the video with saying that you're going to need uh, the AutoCAD Map 3D tool set uh, to use this tool. Uh, it's available with an AutoCAD subscription. So if you have an up-to-date subscription, you can go to the Autodesk website and download the Map 3D uh, tool set that goes with your version of AutoCAD. You can also get this through the AutoCAD desktop app. Uh, so you can search and find that there. Again, it's Map 3D. Now you can see in my layout here, uh, it's a little bit different uh, than the standard AutoCAD, you've got a few more tabs like map data and analysis, but the one we're going to be using and focusing on uh, in this video is the layout tools ribbon tab. This is a new one uh, to most of you if you haven't used map 3D before, but if you're familiar with it or civil 3D, uh, you'll recognize this tab as well as a lot of these tools. So you can see below here, we have a viewport with our floor plan in it. And I'm going to attach or link a north arrow to our viewport. To do that, we just need to go up to layout elements, hit the north arrow drop down here, and choose one of the built-in north arrows, or you can load in a custom north arrow, which we won't get into in this two minute Tuesday. Uh, I'm gonna choose, let's go with this one here. Next, we're going to link our north arrow to a specific viewport. Uh, in this case, we're going to use this viewport here. And then we can choose the location of our north arrow. Let's just choose the upper left corner here. And you can see, uh, along with being a little small for the size of our viewport, it's automatically rotated to point north to the left of the page. And I'm going to show you in a second why it's doing that. First, I'll show you how we can scale this. Uh, simply by moving this arrow here and dragging it to the size you want or typing in a size along the top. So we can change it to one inch and that looks pretty good there. So next we're going to show you how to rotate your viewport and just to double check that this is going to follow dynamically along with it. Using these uh, can be a lifesaver if you rotate your views later on in the project, but don't remember to flip your view or flip your uh, north arrows to match. It can be a huge uh, lifesaver. So there are many ways to rotate your viewport. Uh, I'm gonna just use the view cube. So if you double click inside your layout, and I guess before we start, you're gonna wanna make sure it's unlocked. So select your viewport, right click and Go to display locked and just double check that it's no and not locked. This allows you to move your view around and it's going to allow us to rotate our view. Next, we just need to turn on the view cube quickly. And like I mentioned, there's multiple ways. Uh, I'm just going to type in view cube and then choose view cube uh, in 2D and then type in on and you'll see it here in the top right. You could use D-View, uh, there's a bunch of ways to rotate your viewports. The north arrow uh, will align to match up with north in your model space. So to rotate our view, let's just point our north up. You simply hit this arrow here, and you can see our north arrow has automatically uh, rotated. So now we just need to double check our scale is still a quarter inch to one. So you can see it matches down here. And don't forget, uh, I'll put it in the description, but I've also put how put out a video on how to have your scale uh, text automatically update based on your viewport scale, similar to this dynamically updating 
North Arrow, you can uh, link a lot of things in AutoCAD to save yourself a lot of time. Uh, so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and leave a comment below uh, what you'd like to see in the next one, as well as check out the full length article on the AutoCAD blog, which I'll put a link to below. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good one and cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.